Hello friends and welcome back to Bloomwell Home and Garden and today I just wanted to get my bloom on. I really wanted to get started planting some pots and so I went to the garden center and I picked up some flowers. Now I had some recipes in mind and I picked up a few things but then I couldn't find everything and so I just decided that I would use what I have and of course this would be a lot less expensive because I wanted to use just your regular cell annuals like some salvia and dusty miller and coleus so I'm gonna get started with planting some pots and I'm gonna start with some herbs ready to organize my flowers. I couldn't decide whether to sort them by color or by like with like. I sorted out the vegetables and herbs that were left. I then decided to sort them like with like. This way I would know exactly how many of each plant I had. I had no rhyme or reason at this point. These were just ones that I picked up and usually I take a lot of time and plan out each pot and go with a theme all over and just one general theme. And I didn't know if I could actually do that because I didn't know how many plants I had that would even go well together in containers. We're just gonna see what works together. I did find these beautiful petunias and I thought those would look good in my hanging baskets that go out front. Of course, I hadn't cleaned them out from last year and when I went into the shed to get them, I found a surprise in one of the containers. I have found a nest of wren eggs and she had this little piece of foil covering them. I think there are four in there. I can't tell how many more there are, but now I have a little dilemma. I really want to use this hanging basket, but I don't want to disturb her nest. And I'm not sure if I know exactly how I'm going to do that. I have seemed to found a solution. I have this old basket behind the shed. It's not in good shape. It's falling apart. But I think I can remove the entire clod of dirt and put it in the other one. But because this dried in there last year, it's in really tight and I don't know if I can loosen it enough without disturbing or harming the egg so I'm trying to be very very careful.
I'm ready to move on to this pot and this pot is very large. I'm going to scoop out some of the old soil so I can then replace it with some fresh soil and mix that all together. I recycle my soil every year and I don't seem to have a problem. We just need to add back in some nutrients from time to time. I'm going to start for my thriller with this angelonia plant and it is a large plant but it is the only large plant I'm going to be putting in this large container. When we have large containers, of course, they're absolutely beautiful if we can afford the four inch pots of all the beautiful spillers and all the proven winners, super bells and all of those things. But that can get very, very expensive. I want to show everyone that you can absolutely make beautiful, gorgeous pots, even if they're large just by using the small plants that come in the four and six cell pack. I'm now adding in some salvia. Salvia is absolutely one of my favorite annuals. And of course it is great for the pollinators, the bees and the butterflies always enjoy it. And one of the recipes that I found had some zinnias in it. So I picked up a lot of these short zinnias. These are not the tall cut flower. These are called short stuff perfusion mix. So as I'm planting these, I'm not even sure what color these are going to be when they pop open. But you know, when flowers are grouped together, you see them growing in nature. They're never not pretty. So I'm taking my chances and just putting them all together because I want, like I said, I want to show everyone how pretty it can be and how inexpensive it can be. I now have these beautiful dark velvet petunias and of course Dusty Miller and I'm going to put those in the pot as well. This large clay pot is another one of my favorites. And look here, last year I had some petunias in here and they came back. I've never had petunias come back before and I am very blessed. And if you look at the one that's ready to open, it's just about the same color of those dark velvet ones that I have now. And here are the remainder of the plants that I'm also gonna tuck in here. So as I'm going around planting, I look at the plants I have left over and I look at the pot and then I just grab a few to put in the pot. So luckily though, I did pick up enough of all of the plants to have some sort of theme going. As I said, I don't have particular recipes this year. I started out that way, but then I couldn't find all the plants. So now I'm just kind of winging it and enjoying what I'm going to create and I think it's going to be very beautiful.
I always like a good traditional pot and this is what we used to call the traditional combo pot back when I worked at a garden center a long time ago. Traditionally it would have some red geraniums and a big spike in the middle. I don't have those so this is my take on a more traditional combo pot. I am putting these next to the back step and I'm going to enjoy the combination that I do have which is a Stelvia Marigold Dusty Miller and some bicolor color I realized that I had these left over. I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. I have this old vintage bucket and I've had this for a many long years, probably 25 years, and I just love it. And these flowers are matching kind of the ones that I planted in the hanging baskets. So with this little bucket that sits on the front porch, I thought these would look cute in this bucket and complement the hanging baskets very well.
This old milk pail is another one of my favorite buckets and it too had many of the petunias come back. Big surprise and I'm just going to transfer all of them over into the other pot. For this pot, I am just using another one of those Angelonias. I picked up three of them for a recipe, the all-in-one pot, but couldn't find the rest of the flowers. And so the way I've ended up dividing them out today has worked out perfect. For this pot, it was just the one Angelonia and three Lantana. And I think it has turned out quite lovely. very cold for our location and a couple days later we were in the hundreds very very hot and you can tell that these poor flowers really didn't do well in the extreme heat and I'm just planting a way to get everybody in the soil where they can start thriving again I am very happy to report that I was able to create some beautiful low cost planters and pots and to show you that we don't always need the big pots and to be very expensive. This was done on a very small budget in comparison to planting a lot of four inch flowers. I would like to invite you back to the farmhouse for my July guard stroll where we will update you on how beautiful these all filled in and are looking good. Until next time, be blessed, be safe.